party. It feels good. It, it feels, feels good. When you, thank you. Welcome back, and thank you for stopping by, and thank you thanks for... Thanks for having thanks me. Thanks for playing yet again. We did another we fun... We have played so much. We've had so many fun bits. You know, the first crazy skit I did, if you all recall, was... Uh, in, in the White In the White House, and we did a, a potato sack race in the East Room. <laughs> That's right, we did. You were the first silly I had. <laughs> I like being the first silly. So I love thank that. you for that. Uh, I gotta say, I love having you, I love talking to you, obviously, but to see people's reaction to you, next to you, is, it makes me feel so good. People Aww. love you, I mean, we all love you, but we really... You guys. You guys. Uh, look, I, I don't take it for granted. Yeah. Look, we don't get out much. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. So it's, it's just nice to hear what it all meant to people, particularly young people. So yeah. I don't take any of that for granted. Do you, so. do you, do you ever get starstruck a anymore? Or... Oh, phew. Uh, Questlove. <laughs> oh, come on, come on, come on. Like, hey, <laughs> come on. <laughs> Absolutely, I you get do? starstruck. Well, maybe not exactly right now in this moment, but, but in first... the course of my life. <laughs> I mean, you just imagine the people that we met, Stevie. You know, when I first met Stevie Wonder. Yes, of course. I mean, I was just like, Stevie! <laughs> I fangirled out. You have to, yeah. You know, Prince. Oh. I mean, <laughs> Prince played at the White House months before he passed, actually. And just, I know, it was just... Isn't he great, the, the, the way that Prince was also as a person? I, 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 I had conversations with your husband about this, too, that everyone is kind of who... They yeah, should, be, they should yeah. be like Prince is a magical. He 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 appears. Yes, <laughs> yes, he kind of like a puff of smoke. You know, he just kind of shows in, up. He's in the blue room, standing in front of President Obama. And he's just like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's just cool. Still right here. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. No. Uh, so yes, I fangirl out all the uh, time. Congratulations on the Thank light we you. carry. It's Thank another you. You. New York <laughs> Times <laughs> bestseller. And uh, the book, you dedicate the book to your, your parents. Oh, my God, which, yes. Which I do love. Uh, you've talked about the influence that your father's had on you. Mm -hmm. uh, but also there's a whole chapter here about your mom. Marion. Yes. She deserved a chapter. She's, she's, you know, my parents are where I get any wisdom that I have. And yeah. the fact that she allowed me to even say her name in the book is a big deal. <laughs> because Marion Robinson isn't impressed with anything at any time, so I had to ask permission. I was like, Mom, I, we were trying to get her to write a book. She was <laughs> like, nobody like, wants to hear what I have to say. I was like, no, Mom, everybody, everybody wants, to hear, yeah. wants to hear what you have to she say. She does have some great uh, tried and true mm -hmm. uh, parenting in the book. Uh, number five is come home, we will always like you here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that, that is true. I mean, let me tell you how grounding that is, and for parents, it's important to remember, because she said that because she knew that as kids of color, as women, as a woman, young woman, young black woman in the world, that I would be confronted with a lot of people who would set my bar low for me. Yeah. You know, she knew we were gonna hear racial uh, insults. She knew what we were gonna confront. And she never wanted us to get our self-worth from outside the home because we couldn't count on it. So that maxim is, don't sweat the small stuff. Don't lose it because a teacher doesn't like you, um, because somebody called you a bad word. Mm. Don't let your self-esteem be based on that. You know, get your self-worth at home. Yeah. And so that's a powerful thing for all parents to remember, but it's an important thing for adults to remember as we deal with young people, that our words to them matter, you know? Yeah. What we say, how we treat them, it has an impact. Uh, because some kids don't have a home to go to to feel that love. So I think about that every time I interact with a kid, that my interaction with them may be the time they feel safe and they feel at home. So I want everybody yeah, to, that goes, to think about that. That goes So far. I got that, that so far. I, I love that. How, uh, how are the kids? Kids are good. Sasha Those Malia. two. How, they're they not still, kids. They're they seven, grown, year, seven they're, years old. How old are they? <laughs> right. That's how the world sees them. Twenty. They'll be twenty-five and twenty-two. When did it happen? Yeah, you all are old. When <laughs> did that happen? <laughs> I know. Before our very eyes. Wow. All I can say is, no more babies, no more tuition. Yeah. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>
<laughs> but that, it's like, here's your life. There you go. Good luck. Yeah, let me know no, how right. it works. Yeah. But now they're, they're they're living together, right? The roommates. They right now they are. Yeah, yeah. Do you visit them? We visited them once. Okay. Um, <laughs> when 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 we're your parents, you don't really want us around that much. <laughs> You know. Really? So, but what we did get invited over for cocktails before dinner because we had to take them out to dinner, and no, they no, invited no, no, us no. over for cocktails. No, no, no. Oh yeah. No, oh, yeah. you don't drink a cocktail. Oh, pshaw. and not only did they drink it, but they made one. No. That was a bad martini. <laughs> it's very weak in a tumbling glass. <laughs> They, you know, they stumbled through. It was mostly vermouth and ice. <laughs> I, I still do well, the same Well, maybe now. it wasn't even vermouth yeah. because I don't even think that they, they knew vermouth yeah, was Yeah, yeah, that's martini. exactly it. They, but they tried to impress you with the martini. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. And a charcuterie tray. Ooh. Which they complained about the price of cheese. <laughs> you know, that's good. Ma Malia's like, do you know how much I paid for that cheese? <laughs> and I was like, yeah, girl, you eat my cheese all the time. Exactly. Now you Never worried about the price when you eat my charcuterie <laughs> tray. Like, uh, <laughs> you've always said, uh, w w when we've talked about the kids, that you want to give them the most normal mm. childhood that you possibly can while you're yeah. living in the White House, which has got to be tough. But I, I remember we were saying even Barack uh, coached their basketball team? Yes, yeah, he was he was dad in the White House. How did um, you sneak out and do that, though? How's that possible? You know, it's amazing. Um, you know, and he wasn't assigned to be the coach. It, this was fourth grade rec league for little girls, right? Sasha was playing, and he and Reggie Love, who was his aide at the time, who was a Division One player for Duke, they would sit and watch these girls not have their shoes tied, they weren't running plays, because it was a parent-coach league, right? Yeah, also, so they're in fourth grade. They're in fourth grade, but Barack <laughs> Obama felt that they could do better. <laughs> <laughs> so each game, he would slide cl closer down to the player's bench and whisper to the parent coaches, who I'm sure were like, oh my god, it's the president yeah. telling me to <laughs> run a play. <laughs> Eventually, he took over. He had them practicing. He taught them plays. Um, and the funny thing is, like, it wasn't only Sasha on the team, but it was Maisie Biden, uh, Joe's youngest granddaughter. They're very good friends. So imagine it on any given Sunday in a rec gym in Chevy Chase, because we all came out, right? Yeah. You're playing against the Vipers. That was their name. They, they were the Vipers. Yeah. It would be the president, the vice president, the first, second lady, <laughs> all the kids, and all of our details. <laughs> so you imagine being the be poor real. kids on the other team <laughs> with Joe yelling, Maisie, pass the ball, <laughs> box out. You know, at a time, I would have to tell him, chill out, yeah. you know? This is, these kids, I think that little girl is crying because the president's yeah, yeah, yeah. yelling at her. How did they end up doing? They won the championship. Come on, that's exactly right. <laughs> Guys, more with Michelle Obama when we come back more tonight. Show. Come on back, everybody. Hey, hey.